Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I am back with another speed build and it's another townhouse lot. I've been doing a lot of these lately, but I'm really excited to share this one because this is actually a build I've been attempting to do ever since For Rent came out, which is some New York City inspired brownstones. I originally started this concept pretty much when the pack came out and I just was not liking how it came out. And so that footage has never seen the light of day. It is hidden away in a folder. I'm I might have even deleted it by now. It just wasn't coming out and I didn't like it. So I thought a couple of weeks ago I would revisit this idea and go ahead and stream this over on Twitch so that we could sort of build this as a community. So you might recognize this if you frequent my Twitch streams. If you don't, uh, I would love to have you join us in the future. I do stream three to five days a week over on twitch.tv slash Griffey and we built a lot of this stuff live. Uh, that you see here on the channel and it's just kind of like a fun collaborative process and always a lot of fun to just chit chat about random stuff and sims so uh that link will be in the description down below but now we are starting to get to the shape of these builds i really wanted them to look like they matched in with the surrounding world there's a lot of brownstones in this area of san Myshuno. we are in the spice district right now uh, but i wanted them to have kind of unique roof lines at the same time so i did look up some reference pictures uh, if you're not familiar with what a brownstone is, it's a very common building type in New York City in a lot of areas, honestly, but I feel like that's the space that they're most known for. And they are basically um, townhouses or row houses that are made of brick that have kind of like, I wouldn't say symmetrical, but like equally spaced windows on the front for the most part. Uh, they're very stunning and you can see them all over this world. <laughs> a lot of the apartments in this area are in that particular style. And they tend to be quite expensive as well. Uh, I wanted this to be a variety of different types of homes. So I do end up having three brownstones. And one of them is a like very expensive home. That's all of the floors. It's one home. And then the other two are split up into apartments where one of them has a lot of specific units. And then the other one has um, basically no floor plans in them because I wanted to leave that open so you can go ahead and figure out that however you'd like, but the one that does have apartment layouts, I had a lot of fun with that, trying to figure out, okay, are these one bedrooms, two bedrooms, are they studio spaces? And I have that all laid out. Uh, it just doesn't have like bedrooms and stuff in it. It has all of the built-in features. So I think your uh, kitchen appliances and your bathroom and all of that. Uh, and I think I'm going to do a series on the channel where I slowly go through and decorate most, if not all of the apartments here. Uh, however, the big townhouse that ends up being the one we haven't built yet on the left side of the lot is, that is, you know, all one house, I do decorate that in this video and it's a very fancy home, which I really enjoyed because I don't do that very often, but it made sense for a sim who owns this space to have a very like elegant space to live in since it's so expensive to live here. So that you will see in a little while. We're just working on the exterior of these homes and I'm building these in San Myshuno, like I said, in the Spice District. This is the Waterside Warble lot. I think they're, I don't remember what's normally on this lot. It might be a bar, uh, but I'm building on the lot backwards because of the lighting here. It's so much better by the water. So I just have it backwards right now, but the lot is the same either way. So you could swap it around and I don't remember if I uploaded it to the gallery backwards or forwards, but either way, I think it works nicely and you can just enter from the front side, uh, no problem. And actually there ends up being a lot of space on the back of this build. So after I get the front finished, I'm trying to figure out something for the back. And this lot also ends up having a laundromat on it, which I thought was fun for gameplay and also made sense as another lot that I could combine here that didn't really need somebody that was staffing it. Uh, since multi types of lots don't really work in The Sims, having like a bar or something wouldn't really make a lot of sense or a restaurant that wouldn't function it uh, function in this way. So I decided instead to have a laundromat so your Sims can go over there and do their laundry if they need to. And uh, yeah, this lot, I believe I'm uploading to the gallery as a regular residential because I'm pretty sure uh, residential rentals are still a little bit bugged when it comes to the gallery. I've heard so many complaints about that. So I've been uploading all of my residential rentals as just regular rentals for the time being. And hopefully that will be fixed soon. I think it was on the laundry list for things that are getting tackled this week, potentially, but I'm not entirely sure. If you heard that crinkling sound in the background of the last like minute or so of footage, that would have been my cat. She's climbing behind my monitors and I have like a draping fake plant over my camera. 
and she thought it would be a fun idea to play with that <laughs> while I'm recording a voiceover. So you might have heard that. I just wanted to let you know what it was. Uh, but also, I wanted to mention before I forget, if you do like this build and you'd like to download it, it is available on the Sims 4 Gallery. You can find it under my EAID, which is Griffey, G-R-Y-P-H-I. You can also find it under the hashtag Griffey, and that information will also be in the description down below as well. Uh, also, I posted on the community tab last night sometime about looking for questions for a Q&A. I have been in the works revamping the membership program here on my YouTube channel, and I want to do like monthly member-only videos. And I figured uh, since we're just getting started here, I figured a, uh, a Q&A would be a good place to start. So there is a link down below to that post if you'd like to leave some questions for a Q&A. And I'm really excited about revamping our membership uh, here on the channel. I'm going to be having lots of behind the scenes photos and stuff of upcoming builds, monthly videos that are members only. Um, higher tiers are going to have like their names at the end of the videos and a few other things. If you'd like to check out the details, it will be linked down below. But uh, I'm pretty excited about it. I just thought I would mention it here if you want to leave a question for me uh, in that uh, post for our Q&A. It's been forever since I did a Q&A, so I thought that that would be nice. But I think in the future, we'll probably have some member exclusive like shell challenges and things like that. Uh, it should be a good time. So if you've ever been interested in supporting my channel uh, in a way that directly helps me, that is a way to do it. And I'm just really excited about it. But anyway, we are to the back of the build now. And this is where I'm starting to create uh, the shell for this laundromat. And it did take me a little while. I'm not sure how much of the footage I cut out because I've been editing this on and off for a while now because I've just been doing so many big builds and then it takes me forever to finish them. And so I kind of edit as I go. Uh, so it's been a while since I've actually looked at this footage, uh, but we get there in the end and I think the inside is really fun. It's more of a rundown space. I feel like that's pretty common for laundromats just because things get damaged so easily with water, water damage. So uh, the inside does have lots of like scuffs and water all around and puddles and it, it's not like an exciting place to hang out. Although I have done some of those in the game before. I did a like laundromat cafe, which is a more popular thing nowadays where it's like a nice little coffee shop <laughs> that you can visit while you do your laundry. That makes it seem way more exciting and interesting because doing laundry is so boring <laughs> and going to the laundromat is not fun. Uh, speaking of which, I have been considering recently just bringing all of my clothes to the laundromat because we have uh, two washers and dryers in my building, but it's shared between the whole building. And I feel like I just always have so much laundry. So I'm like tempted to go to the laundromat and just do it all at once. So I don't know. Not that you need to know about my laundry, but <laughs> I was thinking about it because of this. And these videos tend to be a mixture of talking about the build and just like talking about whatever comes to mind in my ADHD brain. Um, so that is what I am thinking about right now. But anyway, over here, I am adding a little mural here, which is really pretty. I also put a lot of signage around here. I really like that one that has some numbers on it. It looks like a phone number to call. Uh, that is from Strangerville. And then inside, I thought about adding this bench, but I ended up getting rid of it in the end and putting a bunch of folding chairs instead. But I wanted to have a magazine rack and some vending machines. That just felt really realistic to me. And I ended up getting these blinds on all of the windows as well. They look a little bit older and I liked that. So that's what I ended up putting there. And I also ended up having a front desk area. Uh, this isn't going to be used by anyone <laughs> because this isn't like a functional lot type, the laundromat area. Uh, but I thought it just looked realistic to have that. So I do end up putting a spot for a cash register. And there's a couple of clutter items over there as well. I believe I get a TV and like a fan to keep the space cool because I feel like it would get really hot in here with all the dryers going. So I thought that that was quite realistic. And then we have so many washers and dryers over here. Luckily, we have these stacked ones that are from the Laundry Day stuff pack and they have a swatch that has the coin slots on them. So I thought that that was perfect for the space. Uh, so I just kind of make a little bump out over here so that I can fill in either side and make it look like it was kind of built into this area. I really like how this came out and I think it'd be fun for gameplay, although I don't really have my Sims do laundry that often because it does get kind of annoying. But at the same time, I really like the like chores your Sims do. And I, I was talking in a recent build about wanting to have like lawn care. Um, but I usually have my Sims, if they do laundry, have a laundry space in their house. So this is a little bit different. But since it's on the same lot and I would set this as like a public area versus the other 
apartments all being separate units, it would basically be like it's just on your lot and then your neighbors would actually come here and do laundry and stuff too, which I think is kind of cool or at least just hang out in this space. So uh, I thought it made sense for this lot and uh, I've just been having a lot of fun with townhouses lately. I'm really hoping to sometime soon, maybe even tonight on stream, I'm not sure yet, uh, start working on maybe a base game townhouse or base game apartment building. I'm probably townhouse because I think I did an apartment building uh, around when for rent came out. Uh, but I've been having a lot more asks for base game and limited pack builds. So I think that could be kind of fun sometime soon. And uh, I will also this week, later this week when it comes out, uh, be doing some builds with the new Crystal Creation stuff pack. I'm so excited about that one. I did put out a trailer reaction the day that that was announced, and I cannot wait to get my hands on that. We'll do like a build and buy overview and stuff, but I'll probably also build a bunch of stuff using the new items since they're really pretty and it's nice to explore how to combine that with other items in the game. But as always, if you have any suggestions for any videos, whether it is with the new pack or maybe some limited pack or base game builds you would like to see, uh, definitely leave those in the comments down below. I always get my ideas from the comments. I'm constantly writing them down. And it's just really fun because I get really inspired by the suggestions I see. So if there is a particular type of build you'd like to see, definitely let me know. But yeah, this week I'll probably be pretty focused on crystal creations. That tends to be how it goes when we get new content in The Sims. It's always just kind of exciting. Uh, but anyway, behind the little desk space here, I wanted to put a chair for your Sim to sit in. I also have like some tears in the wall, a cork board of all kinds of memos, and I also included a bathroom in here. It's a very simple bathroom that's kind of gross, but I wanted to just have like a toilet and a sink, and I believe I put a storage locker in here as well, one of the lockers from high school years. It just made sense to have a space that you could lock things away that are maybe supplies that you don't want uh, the, you know, the not the employees, the customers to take that belong to the the business. So I ended up putting those supplies or imagining that those supplies would be in a locker in here. So I'm placing that down and then getting some cleaning things in there as well and a couple more pieces of clutter. And that should be pretty much it for the laundromat. I just get a bunch of gross stains around and like scrapes on the floor. We have a lot of that now, thankfully. Uh, some of that is from Vampire, some's from the basement clutter kit. We have some from For Rent. There's Strangerville vampires, like so many different packs add all of that disgusting stuff now. And it just makes me so happy because that's some of my favorite things to decorate within The Sims. I love making rundown spaces. Uh, but here I am just adding some flower boxes to the outside of these builds. And I also added a uh, basketball hoop out back. So there's some activities here. I figured you could probably create a variety of families that live in these townhouses. And actually on the third house, which I didn't fully like floor plan. I somewhat floor, pl floor planned. I think I might actually go back and turn some of those into like two floor apartments so we could have some families there. I think that would be really fun because right now I have everything except for this one on the end here that we're starting on to be like one floor apartments. And some of them are really small. I made some really tiny micro studios in the second space that I'm really excited to decorate and share on the channel. Actually, one of them I've already decorated because I couldn't help myself. Uh, so that should be coming out tomorrow, most likely, and uh, expect some more apartments in this unit or in this on this lot over the next week or two as we slowly go through and decorate all of them. It was just such a big build. And with the amount of apartment, apartments that were on this lot, it didn't make sense to do it all in one video. I mean, this video alone is already very long and I didn't decorate the apartments here. I just decorated this one big townhouse. So I thought it made sense to split that into a series, and I'm quite excited about it. I've really enjoyed the series we've done on the channel, especially the apartments. Uh, but anyway, I'm doing the floor plan now in this space. I end up having the kitchen in the back here, and then that room off to the left side of it is going to be an office space. Uh, there is a basement that has like a wine cellar here, and there's a beautiful like primary bedroom, three additional bedrooms, one of which is for a butler. We have a gym here, a bunch of bathrooms. And then the top floor is like a party area that has another bar <laughs> that, and like dancing space. I feel like it's where the sim that lives here kind of hosts various events and stuff, whereas the basement is more of a chill space for when they're just alone and it's just them at home. So 
that was the idea. I was imagining there was actually only one Sim living here and they lived here with their butler. And I loved that idea because there are so many rooms, but this Sim has so much money. I'm thinking like old Hollywood type vibes. Honestly, I feel like I was channeling a little bit of Evelyn Hugo in this. If you've read the book, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, I was kind of thinking of her <laughs> when I was decorating this space. Uh, so it's just her and somebody who, you know, works for her and lives in this space as well. So there's a butler room. There's the main bedroom, which feels very like glam Hollywood. And then the main living spaces have a lot of gold in them. And it was just really fun. So we're going to get to that here shortly. I'm playing around with some other ideas at first as I was trying to figure out what I wanted this space to look like, but it quickly comes together and I'm so glad that it did because this is just not a style I go for very often in this particular townhouse. And uh, you'll see that here shortly as I grab out this couch from the Decor to the Max kit. It is such a fun shape. Most of the swatches are a little bit out there, but this one's pretty neutral and just felt exactly like how I wanted it to be in this space. I also used the lamp that is from that pack and I end up grabbing some curtains from the Modern Lux kit. These are so beautiful. I use them throughout this entire townhouse and I think they look really nice here. I believe I changed the swatch to black though and the whole interior of this home has a lot of blacks and whites and then the wallpaper here has this paneling that is kind of a blue color which I think is really pretty but it's really subtle as well so. I quite enjoyed that. I should be getting, yeah, a second couch here and rearranging this space. This is more of a formal sitting room. It doesn't have a TV, but I didn't really feel like it needed one. So I didn't add one in this space, but I did get this really beautiful coffee table from Base Game and I believe a little plant over in the corner. This whole home has decorations, but it's not overly cluttered because I just really wanted it to feel very, I don't know, pristine and taken care of by... Uh, the staff that work here. And I just didn't imagine that the sim would have much clutter around. I feel like everything is very catered to. I don't know the word I'm looking for, but uh, hopefully that comes across. And then over here, I decided to add a dining table. I don't end up keeping this one in the end, but I do keep those chairs. I end up getting a round table. I think the one I grabbed is from Jungle Adventure, either that or Laundry Day. And uh, these chairs I changed the swatch of, but they are so beautiful. They are from the For Rent pack. And I haven't used them a lot, but I thought that they looked really nice here. This whole interior has like a few mix mixes of styles. It's kind of modern. It's kind of traditional. It has some elements that are probably collected over time. I feel like this sim, this actress is probably well-traveled and has a lot of things that they've acquired over their life. And so I loved the idea of representing that in this townhouse. And uh, I feel like they've been here for a really long time. So I also added that bookcase. I'm actually going to move it to the entryway, but that bookcase is also from the Modern Lux kit. And I thought it was so pretty with all of the different decor on it. Uh, this pendant light is also from that kit and it's just so perfect. Uh, here is that swatch I had mentioned. I'm changing the chairs to. I just think it helped pop because there's so much brown going on over here. And I got a beautiful vase of flowers and I'm trying to think what else. Oh yeah, I added a couple of shelves over here, which I clutter up with some decor. And the one spot down here that doesn't get like a lot of attention, mostly because I feel like the sim never goes in there, the butler's in there preparing all the meals, is the kitchen. So it's a very simple kitchen. I feel like it's probably original to the home with the exception of maybe the tiles. They're probably a little bit dated though, uh, but I don't feel like the sim goes in there very often. So I thought it made sense that the kitchen isn't as like pristine and decorated as the rest of the home. But over here, I decided to get a record player. I love this item. I use it in a lot of my builds and I thought it looked so nice with the side table from For Rent and then of course getting a rug under the table. Once again, that one is from the Modern Lux kit. And then I think I was, yeah, I considered adding a plant in that corner, but then I remembered the glow bar existed and that was just so perfect. The glow bar is from the Vintage Glamour pack and it's just such a nice item. I really wish we had more bar items in the game that weren't full-size bars because they are so big and clunky. I really wish we had an item you could just put on a counter or a table, very much like we have the like different appliances in the game, whether that's the coffee maker or we have the drink trays from a couple of different packs. I feel like that would work so nicely to have a bar item like that <laughs> because Sims are always needing that when they need to up their mixology skill for different careers or if they just wanna make a drink. And it's not that realistic to have a full-size bar in your house. <laughs> I very rarely have ever seen that and it's usually like 
not something somebody is actually using. It's like an old feature in a basement of a house that they never used. And <laughs> that's only been a handful of times in my entire life. Not even a handful, maybe like once or twice. Um, so I think that would be a nice item to add in the future to the game. Granted, this house, in addition to the glow bar, has two full-size bars, but this is like a fancy, expensive Hollywood stars townhouse. So um, th they live in New York now, but I, I think they used to be in Hollywood. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is going to be a little office space back here. I thought it would be nice if the Sim had a meeting with somebody, maybe somebody that was going to be writing their life story. Um, <laughs> there is a little office. They can sit down at a desk and there ends up being a couple of chairs in there as well. It's, it ends up being really cozy, but first we are decorating the bathroom. At first, I really wanted this just to be very New York City with the white tiles, but I end up making it a little bit higher end in here with a lot of gold fixtures, but still some like basic stuff. I didn't feel like they were going to rip out and renovate this space. There's just like a lot of nice furniture throughout this apartment or this townhouse. Uh, so that's what I opted for in here. And actually the bathrooms in all of the other apartments end up having similar fixtures. It's just uh, they're not as nicely decorated, the bathrooms. I didn't really decorate them though because I wanted them to be like move-in ready apartments so you can decorate them however you would like for whatever sims you have in mind. But like I said, I am going to be slowly decorating them on the channel. And the version of this lot that is on the gallery right now is the version that is everything you see in this video. Uh, <laughs> the apartments that I decorate after this will be uploaded at a future date, and uh, that'll probably be once I finish all of them. But uh, I'm really excited for that project. I think it's gonna be a lot of fun, especially how much fun I had with the uh, micro studio that I decorated. That, like I said, should be out tomorrow. So it should be a good time. I feel like I've had a lot to talk about today. Uh, I think it's just because I haven't done a voiceover in a little while. Uh, I kind of go long periods of time between doing voiceovers when it comes to building. Like I'll do one or two builds or maybe more than that uh, before I do a voiceover. And sometimes those builds take days and days and days. So sometimes it could be a week between when I record a voiceover. But uh, regardless, uh, this, <laughs> this room is coming together now. I just have a nice little lamp there. We have a couple of diplomas on the wall, like awards and stuff any side table. I didn't decorate the space too much. I just wanted it to be simple. And then this is going to be the primary bedroom. And it's actually a primary suite. It's got a walk-in closet and a uh, bathroom. Well, not exactly a walk-in closet, kind of. <laughs> it has like a closet when you first walk in. And I believe the item is called a walk-in closet, but it's the like closet you can go into from the get together pack. And so I have that in here. And then I thought that this painting up above the bed was perfect for the space. And this bed just feels so luxurious as well. It's also from Modern Lux. I'm using a lot of that in this build. And I just thought it looked really nice with a couple of lamps on either side, a nice chair in the corner, and the yellow rug in here. Something about it just made me really happy. It just stands out so much. I think it just matches the gold in all of the other pieces in here. I also got a vanity over here. I assume the Sim would probably like to sit down and do their makeup at this vanity. I've never had a vanity, but then again, I'm not somebody who's into makeup, so... I guess I don't fully understand the appeal, but I do love having them in The Sims. I think they're such a nice item to have and it helps change it up a little bit because I feel like I always put the same items in every build. So having vanities instead of dressers or in addition to dressers sometimes is really nice. So I do have a dresser in this space. Once again, it matches everything's from the same pack with the exception of the bedside tables, which are from cats and dogs. And then I also have a gym in this house. <laughs> so here is our little gym area. It just has a couple of machines. I have a treadmill and a weight machine from the fitness stuff pack, a nice frame TV in here, a couple of mirrors as well from Vintage Glamour, and uh, just like a couple pieces of decor. There's a couple of plants and stuff in here, and I believe I hung up a towel on the wall as well. Yeah, and then we should be heading on upstairs to the floor, or actually not upstairs. This is the bathroom. This is the ensuite <laughs> to the primary bedroom that I had just showed off, it has like the same stuff, except it has a standing shower in here that's a little bit more modern and a couple of things hanging up. I kept it pretty simple. There's two bathrooms in here. Uh, I was only kind of imagining one Sim was living here though, but you know, whatever storyline you want to play out in here would be really fun. Uh, and then this is that top floor that I had mentioned, which is kind of like the party area where there are events thrown and stuff like that. So we have a grand piano. There ends up being a lot of artwork up here. It kind of started with me not knowing what to do with this space and my chat suggesting that we make this an art studio, like an art gallery. And then it kind of evolved into this. <laughs> so there's some expensive pieces of art up here, but I think this is more just like 
a space that sims get gather in uh fancy dinners and stuff well maybe not dinners there's no table up here uh, but there is a bar and a couple of seating areas and a dance floor and i just think it'd be really fun to have your like wealthy actor sims here and it's kind of fun to play with the actor career in the sims uh, we have the uh like playable actor career that comes with get famous which I played with a bunch of when Get Famous came out, but I haven't played it in a while and I kind of want to. I don't tend to find a ton of time to play The Sims outside of creating content, uh, but maybe sometime I will. Maybe sometime soon I will. I always say that and then I don't find the time. Uh, but actually, my current hobby outside of The Sims lately has been Neopets. <laughs> I just got back into Neopets after I don't know how many years. And it's because like they're revamping it and like fixing a bunch of stuff and bringing it up to modern day. And I have my original account that's like over 19 years old and it's just been really fun. <laughs> the nostalgia is so there and it's just been like a nice little thing to do every day. So um, that's that's been something I've been really enjoying. Let me know if you've been playing Neopets lately or if you did when you were a kid. Uh, it's been such a blast. <laughs> but anyway, this upstairs is almost done. I'm just adding a chess table over here and I believe I like another plant in the corner and I change out the chess table because I didn't like the color of that one. And yeah, just a couple more decorations up here and then that should be it for this, most of this unit. We just have the basement area to do, which like I said, has another full size bar in it. So there is a lot of bars in this particular unit, but it made sense for the sim I had in mind. I also added a mirror up there. Oh, wait, I completely missed an entire floor. We are nowhere near done with this townhouse. There are three other bedrooms to decorate. Uh, so I was imagining this one was just a like spare bedroom that they have decorated really nice. So if somebody came over, I feel like when I see a lot of tours of expensive houses online, there's always a spare bedroom that looks like nobody's ever used it. <laughs> and it's just like really nicely decorated. So it's kind of going for that vibe in here. I also have this piano painting up above the bed. There's a lot of blue in this particular room and I think it looks really nice. And uh, I don't know, maybe eventually they will have company and this will be the room somebody stays in. But for right now, it's just a fancy empty room. I also thought about using these dressers and bedside tables or dressers and closets from Vintage Glamour, but I didn't like how it looked in the end. I felt like there needed to be some warmth over there. So I did add some wood instead and then this room is going to be the butler's room it's the smallest but i feel like it still got plenty of space it's cozy and i feel like this sim would have chose some darker accents so we have a black bed in here we have a couple of pieces of artwork there's some wall sconces and i feel like they keep their place very tidy so this room is pretty simply decorated but i thought it fit its purpose and i feel like in the sims a lot of the time we don't um when we hire services like a bar, not a bartender, oh, I guess what, like a bartender, but like a butler, you're probably not putting a lot of thought into their space. You're probably just like, okay, here's a bed for you to sleep in. Uh, so I just wanted something nice in here because you might not have the same, um, the same butler for a long time in your gameplay. Sometimes they get reassigned and things like that. And then this is another spare bedroom. This one has two beds in it. Maybe if there's like grandkids or something staying over, I really wanted to have some options for bedrooms in this space, but like I said, I was imagining there was just one sim living here and they just had all of this extra space and it could definitely be repurposed for whatever you had in mind. You could have some more offices or um, really any room. You could have an art room, a craft room. Um, we already have a gym, a library, <laughs> lots of things. But this is the basement. I'm just adding some of those wine racks from the Horse Ranch expansion pack and some curtains. I did add window wells outside so that there are some windows going into the basement of each of these buildings. It's pretty realistic to what you see in New York City and in a lot of places. It's really interesting to me still, though, how some places and some people don't know what window wells, wells are. I suppose if you're in an area that doesn't have basements, that makes sense. But I remember when I was working with the Sims team on the high school years expansion pack, I had to put one of the teenagers bedrooms in the basement and I wanted to make sure there were windows in there so I added a window well and half of the sims team did not know what it was <laughs> and so I was like oh, that's a window well and uh, I had to make it a little bit more obvious because it was really small um, so I ended up doing that in that space and uh, I, I think window wells are a really nice way to utilize the uh, basements in the sims but here I am going through into the other buildings and adding some of these apartment front doors. Those are the ones from For Rent. 
I didn't have to use those, but I thought that they looked nice. So I decided to do that anyway. And then I'm starting to work on the floor plans for these apartments. Uh, two of the floors are the same here. And then the other two are different. And I show the whole floor planning process for these ones. And then I show the floor plan for one in the other building. And then the rest I kind of keep as just big empty apartments where there's no walls or no appliances or anything. So that way you can fill those out for yourself for whatever you had in mind uh, if you download this version. <laughs> but I will be decorating everything in a second version where all of the apartments are fully furnished because it sounds fun to me. <laughs> and uh, so this version is available now if you'd like to grab it. Like I mentioned earlier, that information will be in the description down below. But I decided to get subway tile in the bathroom and the kitchen. It's just so New York City. So I had to add that here. I also really loved that the sink that I used in all of the bathrooms in both the townhouse and these apartments, it's from high school years, I'm pretty sure. And we just have a little mirror that's actually from uh, Get to Work. I believe it's a prison mirror. So that's fun. Uh, I also decided to add radiators in all of these apartments, which I thought was a fun addition or most of them, not all of them, um, because this was a discussion we had on my stream when I was building this radiators scream New York City to me. And the reason for that is I know many parts of the world have radiators and that's something you have in your home. But I've only in my life seen them in person when I was in New York City <laughs> because I've never had a radiator in a house that I live in. We have baseboard heaters. So it's not something I think to add to my Sims builds. But now that we have them, I thought it was kind of a fun idea to try to include them in here. And I try to just occasionally include them because I know it's a realistic thing for a lot of people. And so I guess a lot of Sims as well. Uh, but it's just not something I personally have. So I'd actually be very curious to know if you have radiators and um, <laughs> where you live if you do or don't. Uh, and if you're in the U.S., if you have a radiator, but you don't live in New York City. I guess like older homes, but I've never lived in like anything super old. <laughs> I've lived in, well, I guess I did. The I lived with my grandma for a long time and her house was built in, I think the 30s, but it didn't have any radiators. Maybe I had to be earlier than that. I'm not sure. I'm just kind of rambling at you about radiators now, but that's what's on my mind. Uh, but anyway, these are going to be those micro studios I had mentioned. You walk in and you're in a tiny room with a kitchen off of it and then a bathroom. And that's the entire space. And one of these is one of the ones I decorated that you'll be seeing tomorrow on the channel. And I love how it came out. I just love tiny spaces in The Sims. It's one of my favorite things to do, creating tiny houses, tiny apartments, all of that. So uh, I was excited to include these and it added some variety, especially because I had that four floor townhouse uh, right next to it, plus basement. So I guess five floor townhouse. Uh, so having a micro studio was a lot of fun, but I'm just adding all of the like built in appliances into these units so that it's all ready to go. If you decide to move in there and decorate it for yourself, <laughs> getting all of the same bathroom stuff. Uh, the shower is from Discover University, I'm pretty sure. It just felt like a very basic cheap shower. So that's what I wanted to put in here. And uh, the same sink that I've been putting everywhere and same mirror. And I believe I also made sure to add toilet paper in here. Uh, so those are going to be the micro studios. And then we are heading to the top floor for the last apartment in this middle unit, which has a really pretty kitchen off in this front entryway area. I actually moved the door down uh, so that I can fit a kitchen better in this space. It was really fun to have different layouts and it bothered me a little bit that this counter was blocking the window slightly, but that's actually really realistic in New York City. Things are not exactly positioned correctly because a lot of the times these apartments are uh, like homes that used to be full on homes. So it didn't originally have a kitchen there. They're repurposing these spaces. So having something that's blocking something else is quite realistic. I've done quite a lot of New York City apartments on the channel before. And they're always a bit of fun because I get to have some fun with like some weird layouts. I don't think this one's that weird though, other than the bathroom is very tiny. So I had to have one of those showers in here that's just on the wall from Discover University. So your Sims can walk right over it with no problem. And that should be pretty much it for that unit. I just have to get the upper head cabinets and stuff in the kitchen and the appliances. And uh, you'll see when you first walk in, you're in the living room and there's no windows in there. <laughs> they're only in the kitchen. Uh, but I also found that that was kind of realistic. And I thought this was one of the prettier units in this building. Uh, granted, I love the view out of the micro studios and those are going to be so much fun to decorate. But I thought that that one was a really cool layout. And then this is going to be a studio as well, but it's not a micro studio. It's actually pretty spacious. 
Uh, it has a bathroom over in the corner as well as a kitchen in the back area. And then the rest of the room is going to be your living and bedroom situation. And I feel like this one's going to be fun to decorate as well. And speaking of that, if you have any ideas of different types of styles we could do for some of these apartments as I'm going to be decorating them on the channel, definitely let me know if there's like some professions you'd like to see or interior decorating styles uh, because we have a lot of apartments to decorate over the next couple of weeks. Uh, so I would love to hear your suggestions on what you would like to see included. And now that we are 35 minutes into this video, let me think of a word to tell you to comment if you're still here, because I love seeing how many people actually listen to the voiceovers and are here really late in the video. So um, how about tulip? Uh, it's about to be springtime here and I have a, a fake tulip on my desk right now. Uh, so if you are still here and let me know that you're still here by typing tulip in the comments. Uh, anyway, uh, this is that bathroom in that bottom studio space. And then we should be moving on over into the last building here and doing the floor plan of one of the units because I decided to leave the rest open uh, so that you're not like stuck with my floor plans. I was trying to make this as useful as possible. <laughs> so hopefully I succeeded in doing that. But like I said, I will be decorating these ones as well. So they will get floor plans and uh, I might end up making a couple of these like multi-floor apartments. I think that would be really fun <laughs> to have uh, that sort of space. That's not something I've done a lot of in the game. I guess there's a couple of two-floor apartments in San Mijuno, like the regular apartments, but I don't use them very often. Uh, but anyway, we're just going to add all of the staircases in the hallway here so you can get to all of the different floors, uh, just trying to layer those in a way that makes sense uh, because the top floor is a little bit narrower than the floors below it, so placing the stairs is a little finicky. But it came out okay in the end. I was pretty happy with it. So just doing that now and we should be floor planning this first floor apartment. It's a really simple floor plan. I have the bathroom in the back or the bedroom in the back. It's separated by a bathroom here. And then there's like a kitchen across from the bathroom and the living space when you first walk in. Uh, so that is the only one that has a floor plan on this side. But the rest you can decorate however you would like. And with that, we are pretty much done with this video. Thank you so much if you are still here at this point, if you've watched the whole thing, that means a lot to me. Um, I talked about so many different things in <laughs> this video, so I am excited to read the comments. And uh, maybe I will see some of you tonight over on twitch.tv slash where we will hopefully be starting, I just hit my microphone, hopefully be starting some base game townhouses uh, and keeping the townhouse love strong because I've been really enjoying these. Uh, but yeah, thank you so very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this one. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you so very much for watching. Please let me know what else you would like to see and enjoy those screenshots. Bye everyone. Mm -hmm.